As a bank, we are committed to improving our customer experience. And one of the ways we do this is by deploying cutting edge technology. We'll be speaking to Babatunde, our CEO Crivel Watches, as he enlightens us on the values of our Amphicard products. Thank you. My name is Baba Tunyawe. I'm the founder and creative director of Crivel Watches. Crivel Watches is a Nigerian-owned um, watchmaking business that has been around for about five years. Um, about four years ago, I started my banking relationship with Providus Bank, and since then, it's been homely. It's been very welcoming. Uh, we started, you know, by just a regular bank account, and I was identified as a, a Nigerian-owned business, which is what we are. Um, they pulled me out to have a few conversations with me, offered me different um, products of the bank, and we were able to you know, grow a business and a banking relationship. So recently I was offered a new bank card called the AmphiCard. It's told to be the biggest innovation in banking in Nigeria. And at first I didn't believe it. I thought, you know, what was this about? And then, you know, they pulled me through the processes of how it works. And it's a card that can make payments and collect payments. I wondered how and, you know, at the first time we tried it, we tried it at an event where we were showcasing some of our products. And I found that, you know, with the barcode here, we were able to just show it to a customer, he scans it, and then, you know, your payment is pretty much completed. We, we were first skeptical because we thought, you know, this would mean like our bank details were on, 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 um, on our card. But then by the time they explained everything, you know, we saw that it was just something to help business owners, you know, connect quicker to their customers. In my four years of banking with Providence Bank, I've seen nothing but innovation. Um, I've seen nothing but, you know, them planning for how to take over banking in Nigeria.